Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about Azure Backup, the end of tape. So, a little bit about myself, I'll try not to bore you too much. I'm Craig, I'm an Azure Delivery Consultant. I've been in IT for 10 years, dealing with a wide range of customers in the public and private sector. I primarily focus on Azure and the hybrid cloud. I joined Power On Platforms in January this year, and so far it's been great to work for this company. You can find me on Twitter at CraigCloudITPro or on my personal blog CraigCloudITPro.wordpress.com. So, Power On Platforms, let's talk a little bit about this company. They've basically developed a set of unique game-changing solutions. If you know anything about this company, you'll know how incredible their solution delivery methods are. The business now features a suite of market-leading products, which are helping organizations realize the benefits of higher output and increased organizational flexibility using automation to deploy bespoke solutions into any environment cutting out the button clicker if you will we have some MVPs that work at power on uh, one of which is the product development director Steve Beaumont he's a system center genius in my eyes he's written numerous cookbooks and is a regular speaker at Microsoft if you give him a search you'll be able to see the stuff that he's done he's a massive uh, contributor in the community he's also a very big slave driver um, and lastly, our main motto is work smart, not hard. If you're doing something on a regular basis, which is a manual job, you should have really automated it by now. So, today's gender. We're going to talk about how the public cloud is disrupting the backup market. Is my data secure? Backup IT priority, backup data protection challenges, MABs, and if anybody has any questions. So, before we dive into the products, let's start off with the intro into Microsoft's cloud service, Azure. So, Azure is a worldwide product and can be consumed from many countries. Currently, right now, Azure is generally available in 34 regions around the world, with plans for six additional regions very shortly. So, Microsoft is constantly investing so much money and time in Azure. Uh, we now have UK data centers. I mean, this is a huge investment from Microsoft for the, the cloud platform. It's, it's full of so many different cloud services. You could spin up standard infrastructure or SQL, Internet of Things, machine learning, Docker, containers, and, and much more. So we use it as Azure Resource Manager, which is ARM. So if we have a quick overview of Azure Resource Manager, one of my favorite pictures is the pizza as a service. This is a great way to explain sort of the uh, services you currently host in Azure. So in cloud computing there is everything made available as a service. And there are three predominant models. IaaS, PaaS and SaaS. So with infrastructure as a service or IaaS, you're only renting the server hardware and a small amount of software, the hypervisor, to host your application's virtual machines, where the VM consists of an operating system and associated software, and the application itself. IaaS means that you simply just move your on-premise VM to the cloud. Now, PaaS. PaaS, the cloud provider, maintains all the system software, removing the burden of upgrades and patches from the IT department. So you kind of standing back and having a hands-off approach. And software as a service, pronounced SaaS. You simply rent an application from the vendor, such as Microsoft Office 365 for email and productivity. This is by far the most cost-effective of all the options because typically the only work you have to do for 
this is just provision users and data so with data in mind data is so critical for any business it doesn't matter what you do maintaining data and ensuring it's highly available and secure is one of the key aspects every CIO and IT admin will want to make sure is done correctly with a lot of on-premise backup solutions currently having a strict capacity and costly increase of storage leaving you to deal with the expansion of that storage and maintain its stability over 30 percent of data stored in the cloud is backup so offloading your backup solution to the cloud getting rid of your expensive disk and tape solution is seven times cheaper than tape there is currently over 5,000 enterprise companies with hundreds of petabytes of data currently sat in Azure, which is increasing with figures for the year 2020 to be 44 zettabytes. That's a hell of a lot of data, and it's all fully protected and maintained in Azure. So, so backup is one of the top three key IT, pre, IT priorities in most businesses. There are many reasons to choose a backup tool or a service, uh, price, ease of use, trusting vendor, and let's not forget speed. It is arguably the most important issue when backups are concerned, perhaps second into re re reliability. Traditional backup solutions have evolved to treat the cloud as an endpoint or static storage destination, similar to disk or tape. While this approach is simple, it is limited and doesn't take full advantage of the underlying cloud platform, which translates to an expensive, inefficient solution. Other solutions are expensive because you end up paying for the wrong type of storage. You don't need that. Other solutions are often inefficient because they don't offer you the type of amount of storage you need. And sometimes administering these backup solutions can be a massive headache because they just overcomplicate things. So it's not a total surprise to everyone that the amount of data an organizations are collecting is now rising. Analysis tells us that data rates are growing at over 40% per year and the world's current data is increased and the world's current data was created in the past two years. This rapid rise means the cost of storing data is rising year on year. <clears throat> the good news is the cost per terabyte is falling year on year, but unfortunately not at the same rate as data growth. The cost of the backup is also rising from purchasing a solution, running it and training people on how to use it. The cost and complexity of managing storage is a factor and you have to all manage the backup media, store it and test it in case you actually need it. All this leads to is that important data may go unprotected entirely or for long periods of time. Backup isn't just about storing copies of your data, it's really more about what happens when you need to store, restore. If the backup is too old, you'll lose important current data, possibly forever. The more often you back up, the more your data, the more up to date your data is when it comes time to resort. And much of this is driven by the backup window, which is the time it takes to perform a backup without damaging the system or being harsh on your network performance. Performance degradation is one reason why a lot of backups are done out of hours. But there is a lot more to the backup window when backups take time, they burden the IT department that has to manage them, and then they tax the network with a backup. Time definitely impacts, perhaps dictates, IT backup behavior. Due to the state of most backup solutions, most companies back up as often as they should. This is particularly for businesses that still use tape. If you do one incremental backup a day, you are believed to be doing well. If you have a serious crash, a full day's data could be lost. Um, storing from tape could take so much time, probably longer than you think. So with that being said, let's talk about Azure Backup as a service. In a nutshell, it provides customers the ability to store backups off-site in a 
in storage provided by Azure. It is best positioned as a replacement for tape as it stores data off-site with a high resiliency at a competitive cost. It integrates with the Microsoft Backup tool such as Windows Backup Server or Windows Server Backup and System Center Data Protection Manager. Whereas Azure Backup is used as the off-site and long-term uh, something like DPM could retain a local 30-day copy of your data for immediate backups, giving you the hybrid approach. Uh, so you won't benefit from the cloud, but you're also managing and everything else is done on-premise. By integrating these existing tools, Azure Backup delivers a simple, reliable server backup to the cloud for customers. So. Traditional backup solutions have evolved to treat the cloud as an endpoint to similar disk or tape. While this approach is simple, it is also limited. It does not take full advantage of an underlying cloud platform and translate to an inefficient and expensive, and expensive solution. In contrast, Azure Backup delivers all the advantages of a powerful and affordable backup solution. It delivers protection for customers' data, no matter where it resides in the enterprise data center, in a remote branch office, or the public cloud, while being sensitive to the unique requirements which this scenario poses. <coughs> Azure Backup is now a seamless portal experience. With ASR, Azure Site Recovery, this offers minimal maintenance and cost efficiency, consistent tools for off-site backups and operational recovery, and unified application availability and data protection. Azure Backup helps protect server data against loss and corruption by enabling the backup to off-site and load it into cloud storage in Azure. It provides a consistent experience configuring, monitoring, and recovering backups across local disk and cloud storage, integrating with the inbox backup program in Microsoft Windows Server or System Center Data Protection Manager. Azure Backup encrypts and protects your backups off-site, add, adding that layer of protection in case of data loss or disaster that can impact your server. It will minimize network bandwidth use, providing a flexible data retention policy and provide a cost-effective data protection solution. So, the convenient off-site protection, Azure Backup provides automated data off-site protection. Local backups leave data vulnerable to unfortunate events such as a fire. Continuously migrating backup media off-site can be very inconvenient and tedious. Azure Backup stores data safely away from your on-premise, reducing the need to secure and protect on-site backup media. Data stored in Azure is geo-replicated among the data centers for additional protection. So geo-replication means six copies basically splashed, splashed across the Azure data centers so you have that full resiliency. Your data is encrypted before it leaves your on-premise and remains encrypted in Azure. Only you have the key. Microsoft do not have access to your data. Small businesses protecting a single server or a few servers can use the familiar inbox backup tool to protect data. They can do this manually or on a regular automated schedule. In larger organizations, System Center can use Data Protection Manager to link those components to centrally manage backups across multiple servers. Azure Backup is fully integrated with the Azure management portal for sign up and billing and web based management. Both WAN bandwidth and Azure storage are conserved by sending only change to changes to files with incremental backups. Incremental backups provide multiple versions of data for point in time recovery. Plus you can recover just what you need with the file level recovery. Configurable data retention policies, data compression, and data transfer throttling provide both flexible backup policies and backup efficiency. 
control the costs by reducing the need for local storage and off-site media while benefiting from a simple based pricing with no per server or data transfer fees. So when do you want to choose? Why would you choose this? So if you're already using System Center Data Protection Manager, you can start with using Azure Backup straight away. It, integra it integrates with uh, DPM, so it's very easy to set up. Azure Backup is suitable for any workloads, such as file servers, SharePoint, SQL, Exchange, and other products available. I noticed that Azure Backup has recently got VMware protection as well. So this all integrates with Windows Server technologies as well as VMware. So Microsoft Azure Backup Service offers IT administrators the option to back up and protect critical data in an easily recoverable way from any location. The Azure Backup Service provides a new way to deliver business continuity benefits to customers by providing a backup solution that requires no upfront hardware cost. The Azure Backup is a cloud-hosted backup solution that provides file and folder backup capabilities for all Windows Server operating systems 2008 R2 and above. The fundamental workflow when you back up and restore files and folders to and from Microsoft Azure is very similar to what you would get in an on-premise backup solution. So similar to Windows Server Backup, you identify the items you want to back up and then the items are copied to a blob storage account which later can be accessed if you need. The backup replaces your existing on-premise or off-site backup solution with a cloud-based solution that is reliable, secure and cost competitive. This is a great backup solution which offers multiple components that you download and deploy on the appropriate computer, server or in the cloud. The component or agent that you deploy depends on what you want to protect. All Azure backup components, no matter whether you're protecting data on premise or in the cloud, can be used to backup data to the Azure Recovery Services vault. So the Azure backup agent that data is compressed and encrypted on the server before it's sent to the Azure over your network. As a result, the backup service only stores encrypted data in the cloud. The encryption key is not available to the Azure Backup Service and as a result, the data is never decrypted in the service. Also, users can set up throttling and configure how the backup service utilizes the network bandwidth when backing up and restoring information. Data is compressed and encrypted into a VHDX file on the server before it is sent to Azure over the network. <clears throat> as a result, Azure Backup only places encrypted data in the cloud and the data is never unencrypted. The encryption passphrase is not shared to Azure and as a result data is never decrypted in the service. Users can set up throttling and configure how Azure Online Backup utilizes the network bandwidth when backing up or restoring information. So what are the benefits? Automatic storage management, hybrid environments, often require heterogeneous storage. Some on-premise and some in the cloud with Azure, there is no cost for using an on-premise storage device. Azure Backup automatically allocates and manages backup storage and it uses a pay-as-you-use model. Pay-as-you-use means you only pay for what storage you consume. So unlimited scaling. Azure Backup uses the underlying power and unlimited scale of the cloud to deliver high availability. With no maintenance or monitoring overhead, you can set up alerts to provide information about events. You don't need to worry about high ability for your data in the cloud because you know it's secure. Multiple storage options. So an aspect of high availability in storage replication, Azure Backup offers two types of replication, locally redundant storage and geo redundant storage. As I mentioned earlier, geo-redundant storage replicates six copies uh, across your data center and locally redundant 
receptors, three copies, in a paired data center in the same region. So it's a low cost protective, but for that high availability, we do recommend uh, geo replicated. An unlimited data transfer. Azure Backup does not limit the amount of inbound or outbound data you transfer. Azure Backup also does not charge for the data that is transferred. However, if you use the Azure Import Export service to import large amounts of data, there is a cost associated with at inbound data. Data encryption allows for secure transmission and storage for you, of your data in the public cloud. You store the encryption passphrase locally and it is never transmitted or stored in Azure. If it is necessary to restore any of the data, only you have the passphrase or key. So please do not use, lose this. Application consistent backup. Whether backing up a file server, virtual machine or SQL database, you need to know that a recovery point has all the required data to restore the backup copy. Azure Backup provides application consistent backups which ensured additional fixes are not needed to restore the data. Restoring the application consistent data reduces the restoration time allowing you to quickly return to a running state and obviously that long-term retention. Instead of switching backup copies from disk to tape, you can move to tape to an offsite location. You can use Azure for the short term and long term retention. Azure doesn't limit the length of the time the data remains in the backup or recovery services vault. You can keep the you can keep the data in your vault for as long as you like. Azure Backup has a nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine recovery point protection per instance. So the following table will show you what you can protect with each component. The Azure portal gives you a wizard which is built into the portal to guide you through deploying what component you wish to download, install and configure. The wizard is part of the recovery services vault which will lead you through the steps for selecting your backup goal and choosing your application or data. So is my data secure? Data is encrypted on the on-premise server using AES-256 and the data is sent over a secure HTTPS link. The data that is sent to Azure remains encrypted at rest. Microsoft do not decrypt the backup data at any point. The encryption key should be at least 16 characters. The key used to encrypt the backup data is only present on the customer's on-premise. Microsoft do not maintain a copy in Azure and do not have access to the key at all. If the customer misplaces the key, Microsoft cannot recover the backup data, so it is down to you. So, MABS, Microsoft Azure Backup Server. This enables cloud backups and disk backups for key Microsoft workloads such as SQL, SharePoint, Exchange, regardless of what they are hypervisor they're running on, if it's Hyper-V, VMware, or even physical servers. Microsoft Azure Backup Server also introduced MBS, which is Modern Backup Storage. This is a great technology and it helps reduce the overall TCO, total cost of ownership, by providing savings on storage and five times faster backups. Azure Backup Server also guards your critical data not only against accidental deletion, but also against various security threats such as ransomware. You'll get free restores from cloud recovery points, thereby further reducing the backup TCO. So, as you're aware, if you've ever dealt with Azure, currently dealing with Azure in your environment, you'll notice how fast this product moves. So it's consistently being updated, and now they've released a new feature, which includes server state backups. So, system states, for most Windows servers, is less than 50 gig in size. 
So for that size, at £5 a month and a pay-as-you-go service in Azure Storage, Azure Backup eliminates all infrastructure and licensing costs and enables you to protect your Windows Server Backup system state for reliable restores. No need to provision any additional local hard drives or off-site storage or employ additional tools or servers to manage the system states or ensure they're off-siting. Azure Backup takes care of off-siting system state backups on a specific schedule to Azure. The enhanced security features built into Azure Backup and data resiliency offered by Azure ensures that your critical system state backup remains secure from malicious attacks, corruption and deletions. Flexible restores with Azure Backup's Restore as a Service you can now restore system state files from your Azure without any egress charges. Additionally, you can apply system state to your Windows servers at your convenience using the native Windows Server Backup Utility Tool. All of this is managed in a single management pane in Azure. All information related to system state backup jobs across all your Windows servers will be available in the Azure portal. You can also configure notifications directly from Azure to be notified in the event of a failed backup, so you can take the correct steps to ensure your servers are always protected for disaster recovery. So let's summarize what we've just covered. Meet regulatory compliant requirements for long-term retention for 99 years. You can protect any workloads running in the cloud, public, hosted, or private. It supports a very of applications, including file servers, SharePoint, SQL, Exchange, and Windows clients, and also VMware. You can protect IaaS VMs in the cloud, and you're going to be sure that Azure has the best cutting-edge technology for security, privacy, and compliance practices. So the million dollar question, is your tape solution dead? Well, yes, with technologies like Azure, which is so big in the cloud data market, you can eliminate the need for offsite facility for tape and backups, dramatically reducing time and cost. And you haven't got to send someone over to put a tape in a safe, remove the tape for a restore. All of this time consumption is completely locked down and done from a single solution which is easily scalable, highly reliable, fully secure and fully encrypted. I'm Craig Fretwell and I'd like to thank you for joining. If you require any more information please visit www.poweronplatforms.com or alternatively email info at poweronplatforms.com. Thank you.